absolutely amazing display that we have witnessed in Charleston when a man, when uh, Allison and I were in front of Emmanuel AME. The feeling of unity, the feeling of forgiveness was mm-hmm. just so real and apparent no matter what others are trying to do. This is a city that is coming together. It really is. That's unmistakable that God is using this tragedy in a major way. Chances are, when you looked at Facebook over the weekend, you noticed what Stephen Curtis Chapman did, and from his heart, he wrote a song for Charleston about this thing that happened at Emmanuel AME Church, and Stephen Curtis Chapman is plugged in with us via Skype this morning, right from his house in Franklin, and what a beautiful thing you did, Stephen. Just kind of share with us your heart on why you did what you did. Well, I think like all of us, and first of all, it's great to be with you guys. Always good to to see you. Um, sorry, it's not face to face, but thankful for um, for technology this morning. Even though, as I said, it's early enough that my kids aren't all awake, so I was wasn't sure I was going to be able to get it to work without my uh, without my, my children, who know much more about the technology. But thankfully, it all worked, and I made it. Um, but um, you know. Like like everyone, I think, especially you know, as as believers all around the world, I'm I'm, I'm sure watching the events unfold uh, there in Charleston and uh, around Reverend Pinkney and the others gathered there at Emmanuel AME Church. Um, you know, I, the, the the part of the story, and I share this in a little post that I put on Facebook, is just. The incredible uh, example, you know, that was being modeled and lived out uh, when this terrible tragedy took place is they had opened their their circle uh, to invite in the very man that would take their lives and to show love. And you know, I was just struck with as I was hearing people, particularly within the within the church and do interviews and, and talk and the family members and other members in that community and, and from the church say, you know, that's what they would do. That's that's what Reverend Pinckney would do. In fact, I read somewhere that he had just come from uh, doing some kind of a gathering to, to um, or it was actually, I believe, a, a, a possibly something um, related to a government meeting on foster care and and trying to raise money uh, or get get more money for foster care. I mean, just clearly, uh, Reverend Pinkney had an incredible heart of love and wasn't just preaching the gospel but living the gospel. And I was so struck with just that that was the reality of of what brought about even this this event was that they had opened their circle and their church uh, with love. And I just kept thinking, you know, as with all of the different things that will be said and, and probably necessary debates and discussions and things that will go on around so many different, you know, different uh, uh, thoughts, um, the, the one reality that I know is true is that love ultimately has the last word. And that as I've just grieved and continue to for the family members, um, I, I was, and, and you know, with these times, we want to be so careful, you know, with not, you know, speaking into something, you know, as as you guys have heard me say, probably around our tragic loss of our daughter, it was so often when people said there are no words. So I didn't want to just run out there and start spouting off a lot of words and write a song, but just this reality that, you know, and I even put it in a line in the song, you know, those who were gathered there that day at Emmanuel Amy Church believed in a kingdom coming. Um, they wouldn't have been gathered to read God's word and to pray and worship him if they didn't believe what his word says. And so it just struck me that I think the way to honor uh, their lives, you know, the best I could from far away, but just still hurting and grieving and wanting to offer some kind of encouragement was to, to put that in a song that, that love you know that we will not be overcome by evil but we'll overcome evil with good and i believe that's what they were about that's what they were gathered for and so um i just wanted to share that message i didn't know if anybody would see it other than a few people on my facebook page or what would happen with it it was really just a way to offer a prayer uh for them and um so it's been i've been amazed obviously at how it's touched the 
hearts of so many people, and I believe just that message of hope in the midst of this um, is, I think, what we're all wanting to send out to, to those families and to that community because we've seen it modeled. And so I guess this was just my little way to do that. Yeah. It, Charleston is listening. The church is listening. What would you say directly to them right now? Well, um, again, I, I'm thankful for the opportunity to to speak directly to any of those, especially those family members. Um, I am just so very, very sorry. And there aren't any words. Um, there are a lot of words getting said. I know that. And um, but there are no words to equal the the depth of grief, gr- grief and loss and pain. Um, but I would just say that um, you know the lives of your loved ones uh, are there's there's an amazing uh, impact that their lives are having, have had, and will continue to have. And I believe that impact is. Again, they were gathered there because they believe God's word is true and God's word promises that the day is coming when he's going to wipe every tear from our eyes, when he's going to make everything new. Um, That's a truth that my family and I have held on to and a truth that I just am praying that you will continue to feel the embrace of God's comfort. May the God of all comfort comfort you guys um, there. That's my prayer for you. and, And I do hope that in some small way this song uh, will will be an encouragement if you hear it as you hear it, um, but but we are praying for you as as brothers and sisters and just standing with you. Stephen Curtis Chapman, thanks for the time and connecting up on Skype this morning. We so so are very grateful. Absolutely. Well, Rob, always good to be with you guys and bless you and thank you for what you guys are doing there during this time. Praying for all of you, for believers and and for you guys there in mm-hmm. ministry to just continue to encourage and and speak truth, you know, in into the midst of that. And I know there's a lot swirling around it, so just know that uh, your brothers and sisters all around are, are lifting you guys up. Here's that song from Stephen Curtis Chapman, direct right from his Facebook page here on his radio. Tears are falling in Charleston They're asking why And no one has the answers Our hearts are breaking for Charleston So many lives In a moment shattered The thief came To steal and to kill and destroy But the story isn't over You will not be overcome You will not be overcome by evil But you will overcome evil with good They were gathered in Charleston They believed in a kingdom coming While they're grieving for Charleston We won't forget the love that they were showing When the thief came to steal and kill and destroy Cause that love will not be silenced You will not be yours God of all comfort 
Comfort every broken heart Comfort every broken heart Father of mercy God of all comfort Comfort all the broken hearts Comfort all the broken hearts You will not be overcome You will not be overcome by evil You will overcome From his radio and Stephen Curtis Chapman with love. That is a that is a perfect example of what is happening at Emmanuel AME Church in the entire city and county in Charleston. That was from Stephen Curtis Chapman. He was just on with us moments ago before we played that song from his Facebook page. <sighs> what an amazing sweet spirit. Mm. You know? Through all of this that's going on right now. I love what he wrote and what he said this morning. He said, they chose love, and love never fails. Love always has the last word. Doesn't it, though? Mm. Yeah. By the way, if you missed that time with Stephen Curtis Chapman that we just had, you'll be able to watch that entire thing on the His Radio TV app, Google Play, App Store. We'll have it on the website for you as well. We'll make a blog out of it uh, so that you'll be able to find that YouTube, everything else. So that's uh, that was just something else, a special message that Stephen Curtis Chapman had this morning right before that song for Charleston and Emmanuel uh, AME Church. We love you. We're still praying. We won't stop.